Now I'm taking a video of the road ahead. It's called foreshadowing. Hello, Wonder Nerds. This video is going to be incredibly quick because I am incredibly sick. <coughs> 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 Um, yeah, so I hope everyone's week went very well, um, hope everyone had an awesome Halloween, I hope next week everyone that's sick, uh, is feeling better, because I know lots of us are sick and kind of, you know, just under the weather, so I hope I see everybody next week, I, even if, you know, Wednesday gets some time, maybe we'll even see her next week, I mean, of course, there's no guarantee, but maybe we will, that'd be cool. Nice to have everybody from Monday all the way down to me again for next week. Um, when it comes to the challenge, I'm going to put at the end of the video a clip from last night. I went for Halloween. I went up to Ghost Road in Ontario on Lake Scugog. I think I'll put a link if I can find any website that talks about it in the sidebar or the bottom bar or whatever we're calling it nowadays. Um, so yeah, we'll do that. And it's just a clip from inside my buddy's cottage. He ha has a cottage right there, uh, right, basically, his property's right, basically, near the ghost road and everything like that, so, we all hang out there, and the cottage itself is haunted, so, the, you can't see anything in it, it's just video taken, mostly for the audio of our friend Steve telling a ghost story inside a haunted cottage, so that should hopefully take care of the, um, the scary story part of it. If I go to edit the film, and it's just way too quiet, and you can't really hear anything, and it just doesn't work, then I won't have a uh, scary story. So for that, I'm sorry, but you guys can go ahead and punish me. So, uh, yeah, I hope to see you all next week. I hope everyone's feeling better. And uh, insult to you. Someone out there will get that. And, uh, yeah, M, I'll see you tomorrow. Love you guys. Peace. So way back when, before the cottage was a cottage, they used all the property around it to log. And the dude who uh, used to look after... Oh, neat. <laughs> uh, the dude who used to look after our property before he we went all crazy, his name was Grant, he's lived in Halliburton, like just down the road from the cottage for like all of his life, and uh, he was telling me a story about like before the log, you know the road that goes all the way to the cottage, yep. uh, before that was there, they used to, uh, they used to like take a boat across the lake to my side and log, and then put all the logs on the boat and then take it back. And in the winter time, they'd have a horse and sleigh, and uh, it was coming into spring, I guess, and the ice was all thawing. And there, uh, this old man really needed some cashola, so he went to the uh, the four brothers who owned the lumber mill and asked him if he uh, brought back some wood, if he get some money to pay some bills and shit. And they were all like, "Yeah, bring us some wood. We'll give you some dough." So uh, he took the horse and sleigh across the lake and. Heard some creaks and stuff in the ice, but nothing big. And uh, he loaded up the, the sleigh full of... Well, I guess you could call it a sleigh. Mm -hmm. I would. Yeah. That's winter, the sleigh. Yeah. <coughs> and uh, he loaded it all up with lumber, and on the way back, of course, since there was that much more weight on it, they broke through about halfway across, and well, like the horses drowned, and he drowned, and eventually the, the logs washed back up onto my side of the lake, and the man's wife went over the next day and asked if they can, like, she can have some, like, the pay that he was going to have or some compensation for it. And the brothers who owned the place just laughed at her and told her to get lost. And uh, that night or, yeah, somewhat recently, uh, after she went in, uh, one of the brothers shot himself in the face. One of them hung themselves. One guy threw himself into one of the uh, the blades that cut the limber, or the, the limber, <laughs> the, <laughs> the lumber, <laughs> and uh, the other one uh, set the entire place on fire and burned alive with it, and uh, you could, like, obviously I talked about it before, you can see the foundation for where the lumber mill used to be, and you could see the apparition of the horse and sleigh uh, come across the lake sometimes, mm -hmm. and... Candace and Shannon used to live on the lake, 
Uh, their parents wouldn't let them pass, uh, like on the lake, past dark, and for reasons probably just like that. See, that's funny because we used to always get really drunk and hide.